basket. That's about the whole thing, yeah. Show them on the. If you would show them what's underneath it too. See you, Chris. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Turn the light on. We're up here. I'm go ahead and. Like you sent me. Plenty of this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and. The way you can see, the white will look better as far as what's going on here. I'll go ahead and do one first here. I'll go ahead and start with this one. Show you one first and then I'll probably take a break and do it and then we'll start the video back up. I tied my knot. And then we're gonna come over here. And I'm gonna show you this thread for this one first. Swing this out of the way. And it should be this one here. Release the thread tension. And get it through here. So it's through that part of it. I'll reach around here. Try to find the tweezers. Make life a little bit simpler. And I'm going to swing this out of the way. And this is where it gets a lot more fun. I hope is that good light there, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. And I get the looper out of the way if I can. I'm going to reach in here and grab a hold of this. I don't expect the knot to make it, but I want to give it a shot. There's our knot. I'm making an attempt here. Yeah, my fingers are getting in the way. But yeah, there's just no way. I'm not going to get the knot through there. Let's try once. Look at that. Wasn't too bad. Alright. So I got one through. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a break for a second here and then I'm going to get the other ones through. They pretty much would all go in the same route. If they don't, then you got to, you can see there, you got to fish through everything and you can see there's no real backside to grab it. Alright, so we'll take a break. I'll get the other ones threaded up and then we'll go from there. Alright. So <laughs> here we are. We went ahead and threaded up the one, <clears throat> showed you threading up the one needle. I did all the rest of them, the other three needles plus the two loopers. So the total time was tw it took me 20 minutes to, to uh, pass the thread through, it was tie on and pull through, and I went ahead and sewed two, two strings. You can see where I started up. And then how I, once you get the chain going, you just go to town from there. We'll give you an example here. See, I don't know what you can see from from the camera there, but you can see it just just feeds on and off like so. So I'm going to just do this material again. You just so in, so out. Okay. 
you can see the stitch formation here. That's the top side. I'm going to flip it over. And there's the bottom side. Okay. And to give you an actual example of what goes on, we're going to take your sample. Find some edges here. if you're going to be seaming something together. I'm going to leave all the things out of the way here. Take your two ends. It's a little guide here. I'm not an expert at this, but the idea is to put your guide in there and get these. All right, I want to go ahead and lift the foot. I try not to lift the foot at all, but being that I'm not that good at it, I'll just get it started a little bit. And it's got these knives in here. You're going to see it's going to cut it here. And if you're good at it, you just kind of prayer it up, is what I call it. Definitely try not to push and pull on the material. Just let the machine do its job and we'll see what it looks like here in a second. Well, it looks like we've come to our end here. It looks like I needed to hold it up a little bit further to make sure it got cut because you can see this scene. It's, I needed to hold it up a little higher. side. Backside looks like. So I'll cut some some out of this and we'll see what we can do. Do another sample. Your other gym. Uh, All right, we went from seaming now we're going to try to do some hemming, so I just have it. When we tried to cut this material, we had a really hard time, whole, you know, getting it to cut at all. I'm not sure what we were running into there, but it was difficult. Let's see what we're looking like. Again, it looks like to me, when any time I try to cut with the knives on the machine, it you can see you know, it doesn't look very nice. I'm getting what I would consider quite a bit of pucker.
it says my guess there would be looks real good as far as stitching but the material itself seems to be problematic you know very you know looks good stretchy definitely feels good definitely don't want to try to cut it because every time it looks like I accidentally get it into the cutters you see the little spots there looks good when you don't though that looks real nice like to get some of that pucker out of there some different ideas about that there's have some, I guess. first idea would be to change the differential feed Let's see if you can't cause it to go feed that front a little bit more than the back let's try going this direction with it really trying to get that thread out of there Looks like I must have went the wrong way on the differential feed. So I went the opposite way here. Opposite way here. And then I also made sure that I was staying out of the knives. I put, they have another foot in here where you can get rid of, you know, stay out of the knives. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Convinced, but it looks very similar to that foot. But I guess you could remove the knives. It's probably what I would do. Remove one of the knives so you can get out of it. But boy, what a! I'm just going to keep something in front of the knives. That way, I don't have to worry about cutting. Definitely, you can definitely see the difference when we stayed out of the knives and we changed the differential on this fabric. It went from anytime it cuts, you can see it just it doesn't cut very good. And when I went, you know, this is what it was at uh, factory setting, I guess you could say, right in the middle. And this is where I sort of stretching as it comes through. So definitely, definitely much improved. So let's see. So that would be a hemming operation. We're going to come back to the seaming. So I'm up. As hard as it was to cut on the floor. I can't imagine that, again, you're supposed to prayer it up, get the needles up, so I can lift the foot. I'm going to prayer it up a little bit more. this in the way it makes it harder for you to see but I think we're going to need it I'll try to get everything started properly and see if I can't make it help 
up a little more so I can get started and maybe it'll be a little cleaner coming through yeah I'm trying not to pull it all on this material and it definitely doesn't want to cut brand new knives. Machine brand new. You can see it. No part there you go. Yeah it looks good. Yeah it looks like it's laying real nice. And then if you look at it from this perspective, you can see it, the cut showing up where it cuts. But if you look at it straight on, it looks really good. It's laying just right right now. So I, let's finish the tube. The, that's the top side. Looks like really good right now. I'm real happy with that. Minus the now, just the material just doesn't want to cut that clean. Turn it inside out here. Maybe I'll turn it inside out. The inside. The inside looks great. Yeah, that, that turned out real nice. Looks nice and flat. I'm gonna put my arm in there. That's the next test. It's the inside. back to the outside. <laughs> 